guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a 21 outfits for 2021. I saw Emma Chamberlain do this and I thought it'd be really fun to try. I wrote all the seasons, so fall, winter, spring, and summer. And we're just gonna see what we put together today. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that I post all my outfit of the days on my Instagram story. My Instagram story will be down below, but this is what my stories normally look like if you guys are interested. And I think that's it, let's get into the video. First fit, ooh, okay. So, I don't know about you guys, but I've been really into monochrome outfits lately. I think they just look really put together, and you know, we love to look like we have our lives together, so. Also, I always feel like a marshmallow in this. Like, when I put this on, boom, instant marshmallow. And with the, the shoes too, like these little cute white Steve Madden shoes, I just feel total marshmallow. So. Also, I don't know if all these pieces that I'm going to be wearing in this video are going to be available, but if they are, I will put any of them down below. I also have this beanie from Ben Adler's brand called Stay Wild. So this is also just, you know, tying everything together. Another thing that I love about this sweatshirt is its message on the back. Look how cute it is. It's like, if you're reading this, I hope you have the best day ever. Let's move on to number two. Okay, honestly, I don't know where this one was going, but I think this is kind of cute, maybe. We've got some major color blocking going on here. We've got some um, cream up here, and then also the shoes cream. Got these like knockoff Balenciaga looking shoes because uh, we don't got that money to spend, you know. Never thought of putting these pieces together, but I feel like it needs like chic with it's like casual businesswoman. Okay, this looks like it's the same outfit, but I feel like with a different jacket, it completely transforms the outfit. This goes to show that you can match different pieces a bunch of different ways. This one's also really comfy. I really like just the silhouette of. Um, just the pants with the top. I'm not sure if this is totally working, but I try to do a little play on blues, blacks, and browns. But this dress top is one of my faves. It's from Zara. Some black booties to finish the outfit off. I love this jacket though. This jacket's really great for the fall and winter and it's super comfortable. Okay, yes. Now this. This is like the epitome of my style lately. This jacket and these leather pants and then these black boots. I love these black boots so much. One of my favorite color combos is black and red. I just think it looks so badass. If you live somewhere cold, wear tall boots with straight leg or wide leg pants. It will save you from the cold. So I always wear straight leg and wide leg pants and then I have these boots that are like go up like basically are like almost to my knee and they keep my legs so warm. Um, I don't know about you guys, but it's really hard for me to find a red sweater. And this one I found from Hollister. It's warm, has like the perfect cropped fit, and the turtleneck is like structured, because this is the perfect girly but edgy combo. But this is it's the same pants and same shoes as the last fit, but just changing, changing the top, and I feel like this completely changes like the connotation of the fit. I also don't wear this top a lot, so fashion forward for the new year. Wearing things that make us uncomfortable. I'm so tired already, and this is only outfit seven, so we'll be here for a while. Once again, same pants, same boots, but different top and jacket. I wear this, this blazer is one of my favorite ways to elevate any outfit because it's really comfortable, but also looks really put together. But yeah, super cute black and white outfit but then just a little pop of color with the top and we're all set to go so can you tell i like blazers i just got this blazer back from the cleaners and i got it from goodwill i got it for like ten dollars 9.99 come on amazing great quality blazer for ten dollars i get a lot of items from goodwill i mostly i have the best luck with jackets there you can also just dress it down and wear like a white t-shirt underneath it, any neutral color would honestly work, or you can also go with black. All black outfit, we love that too. I am here for all the monochrome outfits. Brown is just an amazing color and I feel like I haven't appreciated it until last fall. And then I have just white shoes on. There's something about monochrome outfits that just makes an outfit look ten times better. So I've never worn these pants before, but now I know why. They were waiting for me to get this, these two tops. It's 
perfect match. I'm blown away. And then I was like, what top do I put with these? Now, oh my god, just, I have a little cardigan on, and then I have this um, new top that I just got from Zara, or else, right? Like, these pants, like, they're like pajama pants. Ooh, I'm so excited. So this video is me just putting together monochrome outfits. Yeah. And the bag, too. If you guys watched my last video, you would have seen this bag already, too. I have this outfit with white sneakers. I just think white looks really great with blue denim. I don't know, I really like this outfit. I think this is really cute and girly. Outfit number 12. I'm channeling my inner Rory Gilmore. I go to Chilton. Hey guys. Super cute summer outfit. Cozy knit and skorts. We love skorts because skirts are uncomfortable. White shoes again. On to the next outfit. This gives me end of summer, beginning of fall, but I still want to go to the beach vibes. I thought this is this could be this could be cute. Chill like lounge night at the beach with your friends, you know? I had to wear these pants one more time for good measure, but hey, you know, I'm getting my use out of them. I just got this sweater from Zara the other day and I don't know how I feel about it. Like I love how it fits here. The shoulders are what do it for me. Like I look like a toy soldier. But I'm actually doing a shoot tomorrow in this outfit. You know, in case I return. This is the black and white version of Emily in Paris's yellow top and skirt thing that she wears. This is actually my mom's dress that she got from Greece when we went last I keep saying last year, but I mean like 2019, because I keep thinking it's 2020. It's so fun, like, Woo. So this kind of reminded me, well this dress reminded me of something they would have Serena wear on Gossip Girl. And I feel like she would be wearing usually a, like a blazer with a floral dress like this, so. When her and Blair were in Paris, she was wearing this um, pink dress with this gray blazer on, and I feel like that's what I was kind of going for, something like that. Since we did a Serena outfit, I thought it was only fitting that we did a Blair outfit. So, we have this Boohoo two-piece set um, with the skirt and the blazer, and then just this little turtleneck that I got from JCPenney. And of course, wouldn't be Blair without a pearl headband. I feel like I channel Blair a lot more than Serena, so, yeah. So cute! So this fit totally gives me Julie the American Girl doll vibes. Like, it's really 70s. I don't know, the whole vibe from this dress, like the green and like the little floral pattern and then with these shoes like flower shades like the flower sunglasses oh that would be really cute another blue fit but I'm not complaining so we got the shoulder bag once again and we have a little mock neck balloon sleeve sweater and then we have these navy blue jeans and we got some flare at the bottom too I don't have any shoes on but I think this would be cute with white sneakers I love this skirt because you can dress this either really light or really dark with black boots this top from Fabletics it's like supposed to be a sports bra but you can like totally wear it just as like kind of like a corset ish top it has like some detailing on it and then if I want to dress this light I could wear it with a, a white top and white sneakers and then like completely transforms the outfit. I feel like a mix of a bumblebee and cotton candy, but I kind of like it. It's really comfy. And then just my little flat puffer. And what I love about this puffer is that it has a strap inside. So, you know, it's like cold, it's winter, you go outside, but then let's say you're going shopping or you go inside in a store or something, you just throw over the sling. And then Boom, you don't have to carry it. Boom. <laughs> Boom. We completed the 21 outfits for 2021. I hope you guys found some inspiration from these outfits that I put together. Um, from monochrome to a little bit of edgy, girly, everything combined. Hope you guys are having a great day, great week, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.